mixed race this person is african why is it important to label people in these categories because we live in a country where racism plays a huge role in almost every aspect of our lives if someone says to you this neighborhood is a high income neighborhood you can automatically guess the race demographic in that neighborhood you can automatically guess that that is going to be a white neighborhood so when racism is so apparent there are limited opportunities for people of color there are only limited um industries where people of color thrive so it becomes important to define who is black and who isn't black who can benefit from this little spaces these small opportunities that are available for black people in the first place black men in america have successfully protected this brand of black masculinity if you think of a black man in america you automatically think of a dark skin man you're not thinking of um, a mixed race guy you're not thinking of any kind of guy you're thinking of a black dark skin guy so when people have these ideas of black men if you're thinking of oh black men are good in sports you're not thinking of mixed race men you're not thinking of any kind of black man you're thinking of the dark skinned black man i'm not saying in these spaces there are no mixed race people but most times when you check the majority of people these spaces are dominated by black dark skinned men but then if you think of the black woman in america when they think of like or when society defines the ideal of beauty you're not thinking of the black dark skinned woman for a long time when it comes to the black community it's like the mixed race people are like the height of beauty for the black woman so in terms of promoting this brand of black womanhood i don't think black women have done a good job when it comes to that if you think of like all the ideals all the standards that they keep promoting for us as women it revolves around the light-skinned woman so even when you're talking of having nice hair as a black woman you're talking of like 2c 3c hair those are the hair textures for mixed race women so for a long time mixed race women have been the ideal of beauty for black women the opportunities like if companies want to dabble into blackness modeling industries and they don't want to get like a dark skinned black woman they're going to go to the mixed race woman because they want to act like they are diverse but they, do, they still don't want to hire black people so in terms of black womanhood for a long time the ideal has been the mixed race women black men are obsessed with like mixed race women i'm gonna say that especially in america a lot of black men are obsessed with mixed race women because they really present the or would i say the mainstream ideal of what a beautiful black woman should look like and that's why people lighten their skin because they are trying to meet this ideal that society has set for the black woman that revolves around the mixed race woman when these little spaces that are available for dark skin women for black women are being taken up by mixed race women it then becomes important to define who is black and who is not black and i actually find it surprising that this one drop rule exists i don't think because you have one black parent or because you have a drop of black in you you should be allowed to identify as black because your experiences will be very different so as a mixed race person if your experiences are different from that of a black person then i don't believe that you should then be able to claim this identity when it's time to take up spaces that are meant for black people when it comes to like who is black and who is not black i think for mixed race women it's become easier for them to identify with black women because when they come into this community they are the standard they are what beauty should look like their skin color is what black women or a lot of black women aspire to be their hair is what a lot of black women aspire to you know have and they're getting all the black men basically but that is a whole different topic if you look at Meghan Marco this woman has identified as a mixed race woman for a long time so then it becomes important that as much as we can come together and share our experiences and share our stories and share our skills with each other there's this understanding and there's this consciousness of why these spaces are important to each one of us why these spaces are important to african-american and why these spaces are important to african 